All right. Sorry about that. Having some technical difficulties, so this may not be long, but it's going to be a two-parter because I tried filming the first part like six times. So, we're just going to make this two parts. I have just a little bit left, so this is going to be a super quick one. The Bathing Garden Cinnamon Bread Pudding. Uh, this has a nice cinnamon, light cinnamon, surprisingly. Um, bready note, it's just, it's a nice bread, cinnamon, creamy tart. I love this one. Then this was just, just, I just posted this haul. I couldn't help myself. I know it probably needs to cure more. But this is from Eagle Rock Candle Company in Spearmint. I just had to do it. Nice spearmint scent. I'd say this is a medium throw for me. Um, I love it. I will be melting that frequently. Then, also from the Cupcake Candles, this is Red Velvet Cake. And I normally do not like Red Velvet Cake, but like I said about her tarts and her other clamshell, she's got that amazing vanilla background, that creamy vanilla scent. So the Red Velvet isn't so like chocolate in your face. You know how some Red Velvet has that real fake chocolate scent? This does not. I love it. Um, can't say enough about these. These are amazing scents. I love them. I said that like five times. I guess you understand. I like them. So I'll move on to the candles that I did get melted. I only got through four, and one's a teeny guy. Um, from Granny's Country Candles, Homespun Holiday. Didn't get much of a scent throw. I did not have a problem with this one burning. I mean, there's a little residue, but you're going to get that. Had a nice burn. I just didn't get much scent from it. So it was, it was there. Eh. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> this is an old candle from Slacken and Company. Toasted Pistachio Delight. The bottom says Toasted Pistachios. And almonds blend perfectly for a delicious indulgent with notes of zesty orange, brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. I don't know all about that. I <laughs> didn't get much of a throw. Um, but to be fair, I think I have the flu. My husband gave me the flu. Yeah, he loves me that much, I guess. Uh, so to be fair, I didn't get a lot of throw, but it could just be, you know, under the weather. You can't really smell as good. But I did make a point of going past this candle and, like, literally almost sticking my face in the burning flames, and I still didn't smell much. So, not so sure. This one is Toffee Crunch from Bath & Body Works Holiday Tradition line. And the bottom reads, a merry medley of crunchy, toasty English toffee, salted pretzels, and decadent caramel drizzle combined to create a mouth-watering scent. I love bakery scents. I love really, really sweet scents. This burned beautifully. I got a strong scent throw from this. So much so that at times it was sickeningly sweet. But, hey, strong thrower. So if you like these kind of scents, give this a try. It is strong. Then my last candle is from Better Homes and Gardens Sugar Sweet Gumdrop. I I don't know. I never get too much of a payoff from these, but um I pretty much just burn these on my kitchen stove, so it's just, you know, a little extra light, a little extra ambiance. So, I don't tend to put super high quality good candles in my kitchen on my stove because you're not in there that much, so this I did get a scent throw from, but it was light and it burned Besides the soot, which that's my fault because I don't wipe it. I did keep it trimmed. It burned beautiful. I didn't have to use foil. I didn't have to use anything. So I think if they still have these, I might buy me another one. But, yeah. <laughs> this was full of fiascos. But that was my re re my I can't even talk now. My home scent review for the week. I thank you for watching and sticking with me through this incredibly painful video. Thanks for watching. Bye.